Hello, Scorpio. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's showing up for you. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Messages for Scorpio. You have the Knight of Cups, Five of Coins, the Three of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Wow. All right. So you can have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you're feeling out in the cold right now, Scorpio, but you have someone coming in who could be your true love. Now, this could be somebody new or somebody from the past, but it looks like you're happy with the Three of Cups. They could be giving you something or helping you. It could be a water sign also. Maybe they're missing you. Maybe it's them that feels out in the cold. Maybe they feel emotional. Somebody's losing strength here, manifesting, and this could definitely work with the star card. So this might be a Leo, but again, let me go back around one more time. This person may, they may have been dating other people, may have been involved in third parties or something in the past. Um, this also could be an energy, you or them, of just trying to like be happy or you're going out or, but it's like with strength in reverse in Knight of Coins, it's kind of like feeling like somebody was covering something up. Like they were feeling, they could have been drinking. I mean, it doesn't have to, but you know, sometimes when you do, like you shop. You, you watch too much TV. You do things to make yourself happy with the Three of Cups, even if it's going out with friends or dating or anything. And it kind of feels like this person may have been trying to cover up how they were feeling, which may have been lonely by doing all these different things. They may come to a realization that you are the one that they are missing or that this, this is why they feel the Five of Coins. Because Seven of Cups, it kind of feels like, you know, they were wondering, what is wrong? Why am I feeling this way? How can I cover this up? What can I do to not feel this way anymore? Well, I think they are realizing that they should maybe just come talk to you, come say something to you. Kind of feel like this humble energy of coming to you with a coin, you know, saying this is how I feel. Okay, one more. Okay, it's showing as a king of wands. Okay, so I kind of feel like this might, at this point in the reading, be the same person. This person is very emotional. They come to you with the king of swords energy, and that's more of a kind of like, I'm not really going to, I'm going to share a little bit at a time. I'm not going to show you how vulnerable I feel. I'm not going to put it all out there. I'm going to come in with this fun energy page of wands. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? Let's go out. Let's go out on a date, this and that. They're hoping you'll say yes with the star card being there. So this person has a lot of feelings for you. They've been trying to mask them or cover them up or just not do anything about it, but they can't any longer. So I see you. Again, they may want to take you out six of coin, you know, is can be simply, you know, let's go out for a cup of coffee, a drink, whatever. And I feel like you're thinking about though, four of swords. All right, so let's see where, where this is going. I feel like this person has a lot more emotions for you than they're letting on. Back around, please. One more, shuffle that. All right. Okay, but you're feeling overwhelmed, or they may be. That page of cups, that communication. Maybe you're keeping them on hold. Maybe they communicate something with you and the four stores can be like, okay, let me get back to you. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. I'm just going to sit here. And I'm going to think. This may be making them feel overwhelmed when you do this to them. Waiting. Okay, so it appears that you make them happy though. They're happy nine of cups. So are you saying yes? Kind of looks like maybe also maybe you don't want to. Is it possible you don't really want to though? But they're excited. What is the ten of wands? The sun. Yeah, it may be different than what you think. Yeah, because there you are. There's a renewal here. Nine of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay. I definitely feel like there's a period here of you mating them, making them wait. Hermit's under the deck. I don't know if that's important. It might be a Virgo. It feels like you're thinking a lot. I actually feel like this possibly also all this energy could be theirs also. I feel like the sooner they do this, the sooner that they can figure out that there's obviously there's a connection here between the two of you. Because your outcome is star, nine of cups, ten of cups. So I feel like you are getting this cup. They finally realize what it is that makes them happy, what makes them tick. And it appears to be you because you're sitting right here and you took that cup and now you're looking at it. For some reason, it looks like this is kind of difficult for them to do. So this obviously someone who doesn't really want to talk about their emotions and go there and, and say how they're feeling. But what are the nine of wands? Because I feel like this person's waiting. So again, maybe you, maybe they say something and you make them wait, Scorpio. Or they're just making themselves wait. Four of coins. One more. The four of coins. Pair of wands. Now they might. 
Let's see. I also feel like this person has been communicating with you maybe back and forth for a little while now and they're not telling you how they feel. So some of you may know who this is or you may talk to this person but not know who they are. Because this is kind of like, you know, Paige wants to be very flirtatious, energy, fun, upbeat, you know. But yet at the same time I'm getting kind of this feeling of holding it back, holding it in, not really saying. Like they've been, tr they've been talking to you and trying to invest in this, but it didn't go anywhere in the past. Or they're not really telling you exactly how they're feeling. So how would you even know? How would they, how would you even know how they're feeling if they don't say something? It feels like they're holding it in. What they want to be is in a relationship with you. And it's almost like they're hoping you'll catch on with, with Scorpio catch on. Well, you probably are intuitive Scorpios. You probably know, but it doesn't mean you're going to do anything. Maybe you're expecting them. Maybe you want them to step up and take the initiative and take the action. And it looks like they're going to, but they're putting this off and putting this off. Again, Knight of Coins. Obviously, he moves super duper slow, right? So this is somebody who just moves slow. And they probably could have done this a while ago and gotten the ball rolling. Knight of Cups is a little bit faster, but again, it feels like they're overthinking things. Like, should I ask Scorpio out? Scorpio out? Will, they, will he or she turn me down? Looks like you're not going to. Looks like you're going to be very happy once this goes down, once they finally take initiative. My goodness, what is the Queen of Cups? Okay, you may work with this person. Again, Seven of Swords is under this. This may be a hint for who this is if you don't know who this is. So again, that's the, I'll sneak a glance at you as I walk by. I'll drop my pen next to you so I can take the time to pick it up and look back at you, all that kind of energy. You may have worked with them in the past or been in some type of group setting, anything like that. So it doesn't have to be work because some of you guys, you know, you don't work outside the home. So it could be the gym, a meetup, something like that. You may have left. You may have ended that, you know, quit the job, the group, you know, disband, whatever. But there could still be feelings that this person still feels for you or thinks about you. So it doesn't mean you're around them right now. But this person has been missing you really badly. That's what I'm seeing here. Like they've been doing everything they can to kind of like forget about you and not really address it. But I think it's getting to the point where they need to. And when they do, it looks like you're happy. Again, they've been keeping it to themselves. Like they thought like maybe you would come back or they would just forget about you. What is the judgment card? Six of swords and moving forward, moving to a better headspace. It feels like this person has done a lot again to pretend like they didn't love you. Pretend like they didn't really care. That's what I'm kind of getting here. Six of swords. But they're definitely obviously progressing to communicating with you. But for those who have been around this person, they used to be really happy, more easygoing. And then when you left or disappeared or whatever happened, they kind of went kind of cold. They may drink more now because of this, possibly just to kind of forget things or... They could be in an unhappy relationship. They could. I don't want to put that out there, but they could because of what I'm seeing here. This is like somebody who's staying stuck in a relationship or a situation where they're not happy. Again, I'm kind of getting the feeling for some of you when you initially, I'm obviously it looks like it's turning out very well between the two of you. You may question if you should go out with them. It looks like it'll lead you to a very good place though. So I would give this person a chance. Let me see what the romance cards are saying. Let's, where is my stuff? Here it is. Flirt. So flirt with this person. They are your soulmate and release your ex. All right. And there will be passion with this new person. Heart to heart conversations. So a lot of communication, wanting to talk. So some of you, again, uh, you may need to release an ex. For some of you, maybe this person has released an ex. So I'm trying to pick up more about this person. I really, I feel like it's going to vary by who, who this is for, where they're at for who is viewing. Like you may be around them now for some of you, others of you, this may be somebody that you did work with in the past, but may not be seeing right now or talking to you right now. I definitely get the month of April is when this person definitely will communicate maybe April through June because of the six of swords. Cause we have the six and the four here also. All right. I'm going to leave it there Scorpio. Have a really good week and I'll talk to you soon.